The investigation into the deadly officer involved shooting of a man from Hartford in Springfield, Massachusetts, now complete. And now officials are releasing body cam footage showing the moments that led up to that shooting death. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live in Hartford now to break down the conclusion of that investigation. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Nicole and Caitlin. Well, it was determined by the Hampton District Attorney's Office that the use of force was, in fact, justified. And we want to give our viewers a little bit of a warning that they may find this body camera footage hard to watch. Body camera footage shows the moments leading up to the officer involved shooting on February 25th in Springfield, resulting in the death of William Tisdall from Hartford. The DA determining the use of force was justified. Surveillance footage from the MGM Springfield shows us how this all began. There's an altercation between two men where Tisdall claims to have a gun and threatens another patron. Following that argument, security is seen on the video separating the two. State troopers then approach Tisdall as he exits the hotel lobby on Main Street. Street, and a chase begins on foot. That's when things took a turn. Trooper Cusack's body worn camera shows that he is armed only with his taser as Mr. Tisdall turns and fires at him. It took seconds for Trooper Cusack to exchange his taser for his firearm in order to return fire at Mr. Tisdall. Massachusetts State Police released a statement following the results of the investigation saying, in part, no troopers go to work each day wanting to have to use lethal force, but nonetheless carry with him the knowledge that they may be required to do so in defense of their own lives and the lives of the citizens they serve. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.